Hi, welcome to the Aqua Center. If you want to learn how to properly raise aquatic life, you've come to the right you've come to a place. By choosing either our aquarium or fantasy aquarium experience, you can have your very own set of tanks available directly on your Nintendo DS system. I decided to give you a rundown on what exactly goes on here and how to best take care of your pets. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick out what you want in your tank. We have a varying selection of creatures for your tank, ranging from your standard neon tetras to a whole school of Loch Ness monsters. We even have human beings in stock. Mike, did you pick the lock to your tank again? <laughs> you gotta get back in your tank, buddy. Get back in the tank. Mike, Mike, you've got five tanks to fill up to your heart's content, or to ten. If your heart's content's eleven, you're out of luck, kiddo. But you can't just go around picking whatever you want. Not all fish are compatible with one another, so they won't all make for good tank mates. So you might be wondering, how do I know what to pick out of these options? Well, you kind of just figure it out. You always have to pay attention to tank size. Not every fish is the same size, and their tanks won't be either. You have a selection of tanks from 1 to 5 ordered from smallest to largest. Now, sometimes you'll know if a fish is too big for an aquarium, and other times you won't, either because the fish grew or for no reason at all. Asian arowanas can't fit in any of the tanks we have, so why do we sell them, you might ask? Different fish require different things. First things first, is your fish a saltwater or a freshwater fish? This one's pretty self-explanatory. When you start up, all of your tanks are freshwater by default, and you might have some trouble figuring out how to change that. Well, it's simpler than you'd think. Just put a fish in there and it'll change based on its own requirements. Remember though, not all fish are compatible, so you can't go mixing fish that are saltwater and freshwater. Also, it's not completely accurate. Coelacanths normally live in saltwater, but here they're freshwater. Just don't think about it too much. Next thing you need to know is the temperature your fish likes. When you put it in the tank, you might see a message saying that it doesn't like it so hot or cold. Go to the decor section, select this icon, and change the temperature accordingly. It may take a few guesses, but you'll get it eventually. Fish in the same tank have to like the same temperatures. As much as I'd love to make heaven real, you can't mix angelfish and sea angels. Watch the pH in your tank. A lot of fish have different acidity preferences, so you've got to pay attention. If a fish likes it more alkaline, the message will read it doesn't like acidic water. So go change your substrate to something more alkaline. It's all labeled for you. Now let's say your fish doesn't like alkaline water and prefers it more acidic. You might think to yourself that the message would say it doesn't like alkaline water, but you'd be wrong. It still says it doesn't like acidic water. You're just going to have to keep guessing until you get it, I guess. If all of this worked out, you're almost done. There's just a slight chance your fish might eat each other. Even if you meet all those requirements, you might have a fish that's more aggressive and eats another in its tank. So pay close attention, because if a fish is frightened, it's in danger. Up next, let's talk about the decor. We've gone over some of it already, but you can also put decorations in your tank. We've got a heck ton of stuff available, so feel free to mix and match as you please. Some of these decorations even do stuff. Don't want your fish to eat each other? Put in a fence. Take that, fish society. Or put in a crate of soda so they don't get hungry as quickly. Speaking of which, you have to feed your fish. They have different preferences, so figure out what they like most. You've got plenty of options. Some of these fellows are just picky in general, though. Like these sea otters, which I guess just want to die. If figuring out what to feed everything is too complicated, you can just use the angel food. Everything will eat it, so there's no trial and error. Except you have to unlock it first. <laughs> oh yeah, all this stuff isn't available to you right away. The way you'll get more things available is by breeding the fish you already have. Every time a new species breeds, you unlock another one and some other stuff. So, how do you get them to breed? Keep them healthy. Scrub the tank clean, make sure all the water parameters are correct, and make sure they're fully fed. If you keep this up for a few days, you should eventually have some new friends in your tank. Well, that's everything. Hopefully I'll see you here soon, and I wish you the best in your aquarium or fantasy aquarium by DS experience. Everything available is absolutely free. This isn't a desperate marketing gimmick, but a choice we made out of the goodness of our hearts, so come on by. Please.